<laughs> it just ended. Hellboy 2, The Golden Army, released in 2008. Boy, does this bring back memories. I never saw this in the theaters, but I do remember this came out when I was just about to enter the sixth grade. Every sixth grader talked about this movie. They're like, oh yeah, Hellboy, that was awesome. Oh yeah, and when he, hit, when he hits... When he hits Johan and he turns into the you know locker blah blah blah, and I'm like, I'm, I felt I feel I felt sad because I left I never saw Hellboy any of the Hellboy films until the last year. This is actually my third time seeing Hellboy: The Golden Army. Believe it or not, I not only like it for the nostalgia, it's also one of the best sequels ever. Well, I know the Marvel movies, they're not really. I mean, I've the Marvel films, of course, had best sequel after best sequel after best sequel. But if you want to see, if you want to take a break from the Marvel films or the DC films, why don't you try the Dark Horse films? This is not by Marvel. This is by Dark Horse Comics. But it is directed by Guillermo del Toro. In fact, Guillermo del Toro directed a Marvel film, the second Blade film with Wesley Snipes and Chris Christopherson. So, what is Hellboy? What is the Golden Army about? Hellboy 2, the Golden Army. Well, it picks up years after the first one. It doesn't pick up right away. And, and you know, a lot of sequels, a lot, the problem with a lot of sequels, they, they're they always released a couple years later and they pick up right where they left off. I don't really like that. This one picks up years later. I like that. And, you know, Hellboy and Liz, they have a relationship. Not going so well. And his aquatic friend, Abe, well, Abe, he may be a creature, but his feelings are relatable to us humans. Abe falls in love in this movie. Not going to tell you with who, because that would be a huge spoiler. But I can tell you what the Golden Army is. The Golden Army, oh, I, I tell you, look, the Canadian Armed Forces would not take him down. Not even the United States Marine Corps, not even the Canadian Air Force, the, St the United States Air Force, all the armies all over the world, the Israeli commandos, you name it, they would not take down the Golden Army because, well, they know how to repair themselves. Just like that. But what exactly is the Golden Army? If you wanna see the story of the Golden Army, click the link below. If you hear the story about the Golden Army, you're gonna be wanting to see this movie. The reason why I like to call this one of the best sequels ever made. 99% of this film was controlled by Del Toro. He wrote it and he directed it. The first one was complete fantasy. The second one was more human and we, we as humans could actually relate to these characters that are not human. You know, overall, the best way I can describe this sequel on why I call it one of the best sequels ever made is because it had more of a plot compared to the first one. The first one was just your basic superhero introduction film. Oh, that was cool. Uh, what's the sequel gonna look like? Well, we got a great sequel and a good film for fans of the superhero genre and the supernatural genre. Keep in mind, Hellboy is a supernatural and superhero film at the same time. So if you like all the Marvel films and the DC films, this is your film. If you're a fan of the supernatural TV show or the supernatural genre, this is also for you. If you're a fan of Guillermo del Toro, this is something to add to your collection. My friend got me hooked on Guillermo del Toro. After I saw his film, The Shape of Water, which I also reviewed, I started paying more attention to his films. And when I started researching him, I came across these two films, and now I'm happy to say that I own both Hellboy films. One day, I'm going to get this signed by one of the cast members, either by Doug Jones or Ron Perlman. This is also something to add to your movie collection. Hellboy 2 The Golden Army is a forgotten masterpiece. Isn't that funny how you talk about how, how big something is one year and then the next year, no one's talking about it anymore. It's crazy. Like, everything in 2008, the only movie that people still talk about from 2008 is The Dark Knight. You hardly hear about Wanted. You hardly hear about Hellboy the Golden Army. You hardly hear about most of everything that happened.